What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I have another laser pointer review for you guys. Some of you may remember a little while back I did a review on that, that blue Chinese laser pointer that's in the silver housing that kind of looks like a minigun, and then I did a review of the green version of that laser. Well today I'm going to be doing a review of that same laser, but this one's going to be the red version of it. So this is going to be the Chinese red 650 nanometer one watt laser pointer so this sells for around thirty dollars on ebay and as you can see it comes with the laser itself a battery which is an 18650 battery a charger for that battery and then it comes with a little star cap attachment too so i'll put some links down below on where you guys can buy this for yourself and this is going to be like i said the same exact housing as those two other lasers i reviewed this one's going to be red and it's going to be 650 nanometers and they advertise it at one watt or a thousand milliwatts of power. And then this charger right here, this is the same like little cheap 18650 charger that you get with like all laser pointers. I use an aftermarket one so I mean if you can afford an aftermarket one, I bought one. It's made by the company Tenergy and it costs like $20. I like those a bit better because they're smarter and I feel like these are just not as efficient. Then the battery here is an Ultrafire 18650, 5000 milliamp, 3.7 volt battery. And this is a cheap little battery too. If you can afford the aftermarket batteries, the higher quality ones, I would suggest those. And I'm going to guess that the star cap is probably already screwed into the top because I don't see it with the other accessories. And one other thing to note is that most of the listings advertise this as a burning laser as well. So... It does have an adjustable focus on the top, so at the end of this video I will do a short little burn test to see if I can burn anything with it. And I will use it on my LPM too to give you guys an exact power reading. And the the laser itself has good weight to it. It is full metal, I think it's like aluminum. And some people don't like this housing, some people think it looks silly or stupid. I at first felt that way, but I don't really mind it. It's got a good solid feel to it, and it feels like something where if you dropped it, it wouldn't necessarily break right away because it's so solid and so I feel like those bars might actually help protect it a bit and the little star cap attachment was actually in the battery compartment so that's a little strange I don't really mind but I'm surprised that they shipped it that way and to get to the battery compartment you just unscrew the little bottom piece that has the button on it and then you insert the battery it's either going to be positive side up or negative side I'm not sure yet so I'm going to test it really quick and it's looking like it's going to be negative side up so you want to insert the battery negative side up and like 99 percent of the time they ship these out with the battery pre-charged so you will be able to test it out right out of the box you won't need to charge it and it is charged so you can see that that circle was kind of big there i'm guessing that's probably because we're out of focus i'm going to give you guys a zoomed in shot of what that little safety label says right here and it doesn't say a whole lot it basically just says don't point it at yourself, your skin, your eyes, and it states that this is a 650 nanometer laser. So I am noticing a slight rattling noise inside the laser. I am going to open it up and look at that in a couple minutes, but I do want to show you guys on the top of the laser here, there is the adjustable focus feature. You would turn this to make that laser dot smaller or bigger. So. Obviously, most of you are probably going to want this to have the smallest dot possible, especially if you're trying to burn. So you would just continue turning that until you have the smallest dot possible. And make sure you wear laser safety glasses whenever using your laser. I can't stress that enough, and I'll put some links down below on some laser safety glasses. You don't want to risk permanent eye damage. So now that I've shown you everything on the laser, I'm going to move to bringing you guys a test of how visible this laser dot and beam are in different light settings. So the first setting I have for you guys here is a pretty normal, slightly dim lit indoor setting and you can see that dot is very bright and the beam is really not visible and I'm going to move to a bit of a darker area here. And on the camera you can see the beam a tiny bit but in reality the human eye can't really see it as well as the camera's picking it up right now. While you guys may be able to slightly see the beam here, I actually can't see it right now so I want to make you guys aware of that. And one other thing, while I was off camera, I took the focusing head off the top of the laser and I, fi I figured out what was rattling inside the top of the laser, the small little plastic lens that 
allows you to focus the dot in. It was loose, so I just had to dab a little bit of super glue on it and I got it secured in there just fine. And I'll talk about that later on in the video. I'm going to move on to an outdoor completely lit setting and you can see that the red dot is visible. The beam is not visible whatsoever and I'm not all that good with distances but that rock wall back there I'd say is at least 100 maybe 200 feet away and you can see the red dot on it but you really have to follow the red dot all the way to that point and look straight down the side of the laser. It is tough to see in the daylight because of that red color. And then moving to a nighttime setting, this is where you're going to get the most brilliant results and you actually can see the beam at nighttime. It's not like crazy visible and you can't really see it too well from the side. You can see it the best when you're looking from behind the laser. One thing I'm noticing and I don't, I don't know if you guys can see it is that the beam on this laser is slightly crooked and that's not a huge issue for me but it does kind of bug me when these are crooked and this one is just slightly crooked. And one last thing, I am going to show you guys what that little star cap attachment looks like. And this is really cool. I love these star cap attachments because I think they're, I think they add a really cool effect and it's something really cool to show people when you have your laser. It's one thing to show them the beam and that's pretty cool and all, but when you can show them this star cap effect that essentially makes a thousand little laser dots and then you can move them all and make them go in and out of one another. I like this star cap effect a lot on any laser, so I'm glad that they included that. I'm going to move on to the LPM test now and I'm using my Laser B A LPM. And I am going to speed this up for you guys because it can take like 20 to 25 seconds for this to completely reach its peak. So for the first test it looks like I'm getting about 225 to 230 milliwatts. And for the second test I'm getting about 245 maybe 250 milliwatts. And then for the third test, I'm getting about 210 milliwatts. So I know those are a bit spaced out and there are a number of reasons that could be. It could be that the battery was more charged when I first started and then it kind of lost some juice as I went on. It could also be that the, the LPM wasn't completely stabilized when I first began, but that is a nice small little window to work with so I think it's safe to say an average of about 225 to 230 milliwatts and that definitely isn't the 1 watt or 1000 milliwatts that was advertised and I was kind of expecting it wouldn't be the actual 1 watt but I, I was expecting it to be a lot less too so while I am disappointed that it clearly isn't the 1 watt that's advertised it is a bit stronger than I was thinking it would be and I'm going to move on to the burn test now. I have it focused in for the most part here. I am going to need to focus it in a little bit more. I'm burning some matches and I am wearing my laser safety glasses. And as you guys can see, I was able to light that first match right there. So this definitely is a burning laser pointer. You can light matches with this. And I'm going to try to focus it in a bit better here because I don't have it focused in very well. Once I get it focused in, I think I'll be able to light these matches a bit quicker. So I just spent about 30 seconds focusing this incorrectly and now I'm able to light these matches almost instantly. Each one's lighting in like two or three seconds and this last one I'm kind of missing it here but this laser is surprisingly good at burning. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I kind of went into this review with a negative attitude. I didn't think it would be anywhere near one watt and I was right about that and I also didn't think it was going to be able to burn. And this is kind of just because of the recent green version of this laser I reviewed that was completely horrible. It was very weak. It was basically just a laser 303 and it couldn't burn whatsoever. So I was kind of expecting this one to be not so good too. But this one is surprising me. The burning capability on this one is very good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can cut some electric tape with it. And I do still have it focused in so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And right away you can see there's a whole lot of smoke coming off the electric tape so I do think I'm going to be able to cut through this. And if you guys do do this at home always make sure that you aren't pointing it at something in the background that might also light on fire. And also when you're doing the electric tape try not to breathe in too much of this smoke because they do say that the, the smoke that comes off of burning this electric tape this type of material is bad for you and it could cause cancer so avoid breathing it in as much as possible and you can see I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera I am actually cutting through it and I do just have to hit a couple more areas before I cut all the way through 
and I'm very surprised with the burning capability of this laser. It's a lot stronger than I was expecting. I was able to just completely cut through that electric tape in about, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds. So the next thing I'm going to burn through here is a black CD case. And it's plastic, it's kind of like the same material as the electric tape, but it's thicker and harder. And I'm going to see if I can leave the laser in one position and if I can burn a hole straight through this. You will see some holes already in it because this is the same CD case I use in my other reviews, the one that I'm always burning through. And you can see towards the bottom there, there is some smoke coming off and it looks like it's just about already gone through the entire case and there's a bit of a beam coming out the other side. So that was about like 10 seconds once I had that in one still position. That's some pretty good time. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can pop a blue balloon. There is no black marker on this. This is just a plain blue balloon. So that was just about instantly. The second the light hit the balloon, it popped. So that was really, really good. Overall, the burning capability of this laser, I was very impressed. I'm going to use this to kind of transition to the reviewing aspect of this. And the cons of this laser is there was that little rattly piece in the beginning, but I'm not really going to list that as a con because I have bought this laser in the past and I've never had that issue. So I think that was just one little minor defect or a dud on my part and it was very easy to fix. So I won't really list that as a con. One big con, obviously, the biggest con about this is that they list this and advertise this as a 1 watt laser and it's not a 1 watt laser. It's only at most around 1 fourth of that at 250 milliwatts. And while they did lie about that part, they were telling the truth about this being a burning laser pointer. The burning capability on this laser is very good. The crookedness of the beam was very minor and I'm not too disappointed about that, but I think that can be fixed. The price of about $30 is pretty good and the beam visibility you can't really see it but that's kind of a given with red lasers in general they don't have very visible beams it's more of the green and blue lasers where you can see the beam a lot better but i was happy with this laser even though it was nowhere near the one watt it was supposed to be i did like it a lot it is one of the strongest red lasers i have at the moment and i really do like that metal housing even though some people don't like the design i kind of do and this was definitely better than the green version of this laser. Wasn't as good as the blue version, and I'll put links to both of those reviews down below. The blue version of this laser was actually 1 watt on the LPM. This one was about 250 milliwatts, and then the green one was like 100 milliwatts, which is basically the same diode as a laser 303. That one was kind of crappy, and that one didn't burn, but this one is good. So overall, I did like this laser, even though it wasn't actually one watt, I was still impressed and I'd probably give it like an eight or an eight and a half out of 10. If you guys found this review helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for a bunch of more awesome laser videos just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.